Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be taking you guys through the process of cutting a trouser. And first and foremost, what you're going to do is to fold your fabric into two like this. You can see, and this is the wrong side and make sure the right side are inside. That's what you're closing. So here I have my hip cuff. Just in case you might not need this, you can use your hand, but I'm going to show you guys how to use it. And I have my ruler. These are the things you're going to need. And also a chalk to mark the fabric. Make sure your chalk is bigger than this. I almost finished this chalk and they keep breaking actually. <laughs> It's crazy so yeah i have my scissors also just to cut it out so these are the things you're going to need so this is my measurement right so here i included the hip measurement just in case you have a question about it i'll be taking you guys to the formula to apply it also so this my waist measurement is going to be 37.5 divided by four that's to get before we apply it on our fabric so i just want to show you guys the formula before we start marking it so to that after you get the measurement you're going to add an half of an inch to that your result on the fabric so 37 divided by 4 plus half of an inch that's what we're going to mark on the fabric for our waist measurements so for the lap measurement it's going to be 24.5 divided by 2 that's what you're going to apply on our fabric so i'm good i'm just giving you guys the formula so in order to get our e measurement hip box that will be our hip which is 43 divided by four that's what will give us our hip box so you guys should pay attention so also here for our length the length is going to be an addition 39 you're going to add an additional 2.5 inches for the folding allowance on the m and for the leg circumference is 14 inches that will be divided by two that's what you're going to be applying on our trouser so i already did the calculation so let's start the application now so i need you guys to pay good attention it's very important and also the uh, the water on the fabric it's my iron that caused that so you should ignore all of that that's not a, that's not an issue just focus on what i'm doing so i'm just going to draw a straight line so that i can have a straight edge on the fabric as you can see right here so now my waist measurement is what i'm going to divide now as i said earlier 37.5 divided by 4 so basically you can just fold your tip your, your your tip rule, or you can just use your brain to calculate it if you're smart i know you're smart <laughs> i know you're smart so here i have a total of nine three quarter plus half of an inch which will give us a total of one one quarter so i'm going to mark my one one quarter at this place you can see that one one quarter of an inch so you don't forget you're going to add an extra half inch to your total um division like your waist is 37 you can see the half of an inch is going to start from the edge of the fabric the measurement is going to start from the edge of the fabric right here you can see that so what i have so now next thing we're going to do now is going to be the hip measurement which is 43 so now you're going to divide your 43 into four places also you can see that 43 like this divided in four places you can see that which will give us a total of 10 three quarter, 10 three quarter of an inch. So I'm going to mark the 10 three quarter of an inch at this place. You can see here, I'm going to mark that place, 10 three quarter. And I'm going to mark the same thing here, 10 three quarter. You can see that. So from that place right here, you can see that place. I'm going to come up by two inches, two inches for my crutch cuff, two inches here. And I'm going to mark the same two inches here also. So now after getting that, the next thing we are going to do now is to get our knee length. So from our waist, from our waist right here to our knee, I'm just going to write them, that down. From our waist to our knee, for an adult, it's usually between 20 to 22 inches. So or you can just take the measurement, but usually I just use my basic formula to do that. But you can just take the measurement from your waist to your knee circumference. So here I'll be applying 22 inches from my waist right here. And I'm going to mark my 22 inches right here. That's for the knee measurement from waist to knee. I'm going to mark that. And also at this place, I'm going to mark that. That's from my waist to my knee. You can see that. So that is how to get all of this shape. So now the next thing we are going to do now is here. Exactly the same measurement you get on your waist. That's your waist divided by four. I'm going to apply it on the on the hip division right here. I'm going to apply it at this place. So you see what I have. So I'm going to connect this line together. 
from the waist to the crotch area i'll connect it and also the hip area i'm also going to connect that too you can see what i have so far so after getting that the next thing i'm going to do now is to apply my laps measurement so here my laps measurement is 24.5 inches 24.5 divided by 2 24.5 divided by 2 i'm going to place it exactly on that hip line you can see that that's for my lap measurement so i'm just going to basically apply it right here you can see what i'm having 24.5 divided by 2 so after you get that after you get that i'm going to add an extra half of an inch to the front of this you see what i have so if you measure that eventually it's going to give you the 2.5 that we usually add without having to do formulas or calculation is going to give you exact 2.5 inches for the crotch extension you see that so majorly even if you don't follow this formula and you use the old formula you're going to get exactly the same result so i'm just going to make my crotch cuff you can see here that's basically my crotch cuff so for my now the next thing we're going to do now is for my waist slant i'm going to subtract one inch from the waist area you can see one inch from the waist area this is actually constant you should not change this this is a constant measurement because I, people keep asking if they can use another this is constant one inch is okay so i'm going to take out one inch and i'm going to slant it all the way to the waist area just like this you can see that it's basically very very simple so the next thing we're going to do now is to take our length measurement our length is 39 so we are going to add 2.5 to that 39 plus 2.5 inches so from my waist right here i'm going to measure 39 plus 2.5 which will give me a total of 41.5 inches 41.5 so i'm just going to simply let me take the let me take the camera down so here on my knee i'm going to mark my 41.5 you see that so from that 41 i'm going to mark two inch that's for my folding allowance 2.5 inches sorry 2.5 inches for my folding allowance i'm going to mark that so after marking that i'm going to connect the lines together so here this for my this is exactly my length measurement you see that and this is my folding allowance I'm going to connect that and here for my knee also so now in order to get our center part where the gators is going to be right where the gators for the trouser is going to be that's going to be our hip area that our crotch plus our hip extension our crotch extension right don't forget that i'm going to place my tape measurement right there i'm going to place my tape measurement right there there's actually a way you can actually cut without i can even cut without using this formula and i'm still going to get my crotch cuff straight it's actually a very very simple process so just fold your your measurements to get the center point of your crotch cuff you can see what i did there get the center point of your crotch cuff and i'm going to apply the same measurement at this place get the center part you can see that and also on the leg you're going to do the same thing you're going to do the same thing on the leg area to get the center part also Just in case you've not smashed the like button on this video you should do that you should do that you can see that and i'm just going to make a straight line all the way like this to my waist area to my waist area you can see so this is what i'm going to be having so after getting that on our leg area this is what you're going to be doing our leg circumference which is our m circumference is a total of 14 inches 14 inches as you guys can see so 14 inches divided by 2 is going to give us a total of 7 inches so now this 7 inches you're going to divide it by 2 and get the center point so your tape measurement is going to start from the center point right here you're going to place that the center point and you're going to mark your 7 inches from this side and the beginning from here so you divide your your leg circumference in between the center part right so the next thing we're going to do now is to connect from the leg area to our hip area so now i'll be using the hip cuff so from here you see how i'm placing the hip cuff just like this 
it's going to basically come all the way to the front you can see like this i'm just going to make a straight line and it's going to cough at that area you can see this is what you're going to be having so after you get that the next thing you're going to do now is from that hip area you're going to take your hip cuff again just like this but now you're going you know we cut it like this you're going to turn it upside down in order to get the hip shape hip shape and you're going to make sure you balance it well in order to give you that hip shape area take your time and make sure it's reached the edge of the of the waist area from the down part align it very well you can see Line it very well. Just make it curve. You can see just like this. So that's what your hip is going to look like. You can see all the way down like that. And the next thing we're going to do now is exactly on our knee measurement. Now you can measure your knee circumference or you can just use a basic formula to do that. So all I usually do is to, my knee is usually between 16, 16 circumference. So I'm just going to measure max 8.5 inches. Well, I would advise you to actually measure your knee circumference on your client, right? So 8.5 is what I measured here. That will give me a total of 17, 17 circumference. And I'm just going to connect from the leg all the way to the knee area. So after you get that, I'm going to connect from the crotch extension to my knee area also. You can see that. I'm going to connect to my knee area also. See that? So that is how to basically mark your trouser. It's as simple as that. As simple as that. If you like this video so far and you've not smashed the like button, why have you not smashed? And if you're yet to subscribe to the channel, you should subscribe to the channel so that you can enjoy more video like this and you should turn on the bell notification to get notified when i upload newer video so on the leg i'm just going to do a small fish just a tiny fish in order for the when i fold in order to meet up with the trouser extension so that is it that is exactly this is our hip area this is our hip box and our waist box everything all together with our crotch extension and this is our leg and the center parts you see so that's basically how to draft a trouser so after this is done, the next thing we are going to do now is to cut the back. That is very, very important also. So I'm just going to take my scissors and basically just cut it out like this. So what I'm doing. So I'm cutting both sides because I fold the fabric in two, right? So I'm cutting two fabric at a time. It's actually very, very simple. So here on the waist slant, you're going to slant your waist also you see the one inch in which we subtract from that area you're going to cut it out basically cut it out like this see that in here see that see that i'm just going to continue my cut from the air So what I have here also. So that's basically how to cut the, the trouser. Hope you guys understand. So the next thing we're going to do now is to simply cut out the back. So let me take you guys through that so that we can just continue. So in order to cut the back, remember this is our, this is our front that I'm holding right here. This is our the remaining fabric. I'm going to drag it to the front just like this. I'll drag it to the front. You can see what I have. So this is our front panel. This is the one we cut previously. So now, remember we cut it like this when we were doing the cutting. This is exactly where we cut out this part, right? So in order to cut the back, all you have to do is to simply turn it this way. You see what I did? Just turn it this way. You're going to place your front on top of the fabric just like this. Exactly like this. You see that? Just exactly like this. You're going to drag this backward. Make sure the entire front is on the fabric. Make sure there's none of it like showing outside. Make sure it's the entire front is on the fabric. You see what I have here? Just like this. And also like this. So now the next thing I'm going to do now is to simply trim out this edge. So here, this one that I cut first is what I'll be using for my um, zip, zip um, fold. 
zip flap sorry zip flap that what i'll be using with my zip flap that one that first one i'm coming so after you get this after you cut this part out the next thing you're going to do now is to simply push this backward so here the allowance i usually use for my back extension is two inches so i'm going to take this backward by two inches you see that two inches at this place and i'm going to push two inches all the way you can see to push in two inches so when i measure here you can see i have my two inches two inches exactly for my back allowance so here at the crotch area right i'll be adding an extra 2.5 inches to that depending on how your clients look like if your client is a very heavy person you can add a, the maximum you can add is 3.5 inches but here based on the client's and average body size i'll be using 2.5 inches for my crotch extension for my back panel so 2.5 inches here you see that that's basically how to do that so after you get that you see the leg is at two inches and the crotch extension is at 2.5 inches so after you get that the next thing we are going to do now is here i'm going to add a total of half of an inch at this place that is for my um that allowance for the pocket area that's for the back for the that allowance i'm adding half of an inch so you're going to take out half of an inch from that area when you are sewing so half of an inch from that area you can see that and i'm going to basically connect from that that area to my crotch extension you can see like that i'm going to connect so here for the rice for the back rice remember we took out to one inch from the waist area i'm going to add an extra two inches to that place in order to cover the buttocks right that's for the back back extension so i add two inches to that part and here now i'm going to connect it together to the waist area so that's for my that's for my back slant you see that so after that is done the next thing is here I'm going to continue the line on from the um from the uh, crutch cuff the line from the crutch cuff i'm going to continue it all the way to the fabric to the back panel and after getting that all i have to do is just to make a cuff like this just like this it's as simple as that as simple as that so after that is done all you have to do is just to basically cut out your fabric so this that i'm cutting right now is what i'll be using for my pocket cover this is the one that's going to cover my pocket area just like that you can see and i'm just going to basically cut that out so all of the pieces you're cutting out make sure you're keeping it is very important so this is for my pocket cover and the first one is for my zip flap so here i'm going to cut this out and at the down part let me take the camera down a little bit so you can see what i'm doing at this down part i'm just going to cut out you know i i i, I make a straight line at this place previously so that straight line i'm going to cut it in order to rhyme with the the length of the trouser itself here so i'm going to cut it make sure you give the video a thumb up so far if you have not and make sure you subscribe to the channel to see more detailed video like this and you should check all my channel all the videos in the channel they are all amazing video that you're going to learn something from and in case you want to join my intensive class a link will also be in the description below where you can learn all of the things you need to learn yeah that's about it <laughs> so just call this part out you can see that let's cut it out so this is the entire trouser both our front panel and our back panel that is all about cutting a complete trouser if you want to see the sewing i have a video on the channel or if you want to see the advanced process you can join my paid class and you're going to have all of the knowledge you need in order to make a corporate wall standing trouser this is for the um flap the zip flap and the pocket cover so i'll see you on the next video peace and do have a lovely day